It's a new movie that imagines what most of us consider unthinkable. 19 states have seceded. The United States Army ramps up activity. Because it's just a, a beautiful piece of art. It's a film about the product of polarization and division. The new film, called Civil War. The White House issued warnings to the Western forces as well as the Florida Alliance. The three-term president assures the uprising will be dealt with swiftly. When I read the script, I'm like, this is no ordinary thing. We, I think we all knew this was no ordinary uh, project. But I had never read a script like or played anything. It depicts the country descending into mayhem. At the heart of all of this, it's really about humanity and what happens when people stop treating each other like human beings. Oh, I thought it was very moving. It's a hell of a story. It's a hell of an experience. Hey, get over here now! A24 Civil War is not your typical war film, it's a story that takes us on a journey through a fractured America, where America has turned itself apart. But this film is not your typical Hollywood war story, with clear heroes and villains. Instead, it's a gritty, morally interesting journey alongside a group of journalists desperately trying to make sense of the chaos around them. The United States have vaporized. The lack of humanity in a few scenes is shocking. A24 Civil War takes us headfirst into a disturbing, plausible near future where America has turned itself apart. This perfectly captures the atmosphere of the utter devastation and societal breakdown. The film intentionally mystery backstory avoids getting or explaining the specific points and the politics of how the war began. I think that it respects the audience and lets them put their own beliefs onto what's happening. Instead, it focuses on the human cost and the emotional toll it takes on those caught in the crossfire. The film portrayal of a society that has lost its moral compass. The film aims to spark introspection and conversation. Because Civil War doesn't offer easy answers or spoon feed up its message, the film wants to explore the potential to inspire self-reflection and a desire for change. It was the first time that I felt like the message really went through me. You know, it felt like a gut punch and feeling like I want to take action. It also serves as a reminder that even in the most unthinkable scenarios can become a reality if we allow hatred and division to fester. A free press protects the people against the excesses of government. It is a check and a balance. The film premise is thinkable and unsettling, imagining a future where political and cultural divides escalate into a full-blown civil war, throwing the nation into chaos and uncertainty. And those who want to ignore everything around them, like we saw when they go into that store. But this film, Civil War, explores the devastating consequences of this conflict that is not explained, but also exploring the themes of violence, loss, and the end. Of humanity. It forced us to confront the fragility of peace and the potential for even the most unthinkable scenarios to become a reality. Civil War questioned our own beliefs, leaving us to deal with the effects of the conflict and the motivations of those involved. But as we saw, there's no easy answers. At the heart of the film is a group of journalists who embark on a journey through New York to Washington, D.C. Happy that this film is also about journalism and the importance of journalism. In the and I think that journalism plays a very important role uh, uh, for democracy. Their mission is to interview the isolated and authoritarian president before rebel forces take control of the capital as they navigate the nation, documenting the many atrocities of the Civil War and seeking to understand the motivations of those involved. The film avoids taking sides, instead presenting a morally complex idea. What kind of American are you? And in the film, we follow these journalists as we see them in the middle of a nation that is at war. They witness firsthand the brutality of the conflict, from the violence of our militia to the desperate refugees fleeing the fighting. Their journey becomes to show the courage and determination of those who seek to document the truth even in the face of immense personal risk. And I think that's how the film works in general. It's not, it's not explaining this stuff, but it's also not avoiding this stuff. It's present, but it's, it's via conversation, if you see what I mean. 
Maybe. Everybody's mad about those jer- those other jerks. And this movie transcends that and has n- none of it. It's about all of us. But as they travel into the war and we see them in different locations, we also see them dealing with their own internal struggles. How dealing with the war and taking photographs and documenting the horrors of war. The film wants to explore the psychological impact of those experiences on those characters. Now, the film doesn't shy away from portraying the horrors of conflict, forcing us to confront the consequences of unchecked division. Oh, sure, but we just try to stay out. This is something that we saw in the character of Jesse, a character that wants to be a journalist and how in dealing with all of this, he has to confront the true cause of war and the responsibility that comes with documenting all that is going on. And this highlights the relationship that we see between the character of Lee, the seasoned war photographer, and Jesse as they navigate all that is going on in the world, but also the dangers of the profession. That's something the film wanted to show up the dangers of it, and that's something that we see. I wanted the audience, having gone through hopefully a compelling, engaging mm. story, to suddenly feel a really strong sense of aversion. Yes. Like a really deep, yes. instinctive sense of sort of being appalled. Yes. But what is the purpose of the film? Well, at the end, we see the characters of Lee, Jesse arriving into the White House in the Washington DC war where the Western forces reach the White House, leading to a final confrontation with the remaining Secret Service agents protecting their president. Tragedy strikes as Lee sacrificed herself to save Jesse, leaving Joel and Jesse to confront the president before his killing by the rebel forces. But pretty much the purpose of this film was all of that journey into the war, arriving into this moment where that picture, it has so much meaning. And it speaks about how a picture has, it can speak louder than a thousand words, because this is why. The film concludes with a chilling image of the soldiers with the press in his body, which is a stark reminder of the devastating consequences of unchecked hatred and violence. Civil War is a powerful and unsettling film that serves as both as a tale and a call to action. It challenges us to confront the realities of division and to consider the importance of dialogue, empathy, and protecting our values. This scene in the moment where they go to the gas station seeking fuel. No, we're actually just passing through. It's a very intense, it feels very real, the film, and I think that's why it's affecting everybody so much. We see a lot of division and conflict, something that we see in the film, and it's easy to feel like things are getting out of control. This movie encourages us to take action, to find ways to connect with each other, and to prevent things like this from getting as bad as they do in the film. I feel that the movie will stay with us long after we watch it. It's exciting, but it also makes us think about the world we live in and what we can do to make it better. We have to keep living. We cannot like succumb to the to what's around us. Now at the end of the film where Jesse arrives to the Washington DC and she takes a photo, she makes a conscious choice to document the reality despite the emotional toll it's gonna take on her. Now her decision to photograph the president is a pivotal moment that encapsulates the several key themes in the film. Obviously the power and responsibility of journalism, she felt compelled to document this moment echoing the film message about the crucial role of journalists in showing really the reality of the events, no matter how ugly it may be. Throughout the story, we saw Jesse's character undergo a transformation from an idealistic, somewhat, somewhat naive photographer to now a documenter of one of the brutal realities of war. I'm really making an effort to sit down and listen to people that I disagree. But that's my video on this film. I really felt compelled to do a video on it, but also share some of the interviews that 
discuss this film it's something that i wanted to do in in different videos showing the reality of what is the mindset of the director and the characters to create a film like this obviously the film leaves an, a lot of unanswered questions but how the war begins and also who the good guys are and the bad guys are at the end of the film joe is like happy in a way that they're doing this so throughout the film we're following this character into this point is like whoa we don't even know or knew the characters that we we're following so that's the message of this scene as well but what are your thoughts on the film what are your reaction to it do you like it do you enjoy it leave it in the comments below my name is christian from beyond premiere and i'll see you in the next one bye bye one